Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Chris. Uh, recently been in the market for a day pack. Uh, a lot of awesome day packs on the market. Um, one that really caught my eye was the REI Flash 22. Um, again, a lot of really awesome bags on the market, um, especially around the 20 to 25 liter um, size. But um, this is one I previously looked at in the store. Um, REI was running a sale this weekend and decided to go ahead and make the purchase. Um, again, this is a 22 liter bag. Um, ba it's, it's pretty basic, um, but again, I do like some of the features on the bag. So just to do a quick rundown of the bag, um, it's gonna be very typical of some other day packs. Uh, look at the material. At least the front is a real thin material. Um, the back does have a little bit more support here. It's a little bit more firm on this. Um, you're gonna have the typical handle on the top of the back here. You do have the backpack straps here. And these are kind of a mesh. Um, I would assume these are gonna be ventilated pretty well. Um, there is some padding on the back of the bag here. And what my hope is with this is that it's also gonna uh, offer some ventilation. Um, also has a hip strap, which um, for me, I, I'm not gonna need this. I'll probably remove this. And then also on the backpack straps, it does have the sternum strap here, which I'm actually a fan of the sternum strap. And um, on the backpack straps, there's gonna be some connection points here, here and here also. So um, just to look at the front of the bag, um, the top flap here, it's gonna have a small pocket. So just to stick my hand in here, and uh, for me, um, you know, again, just a, a pocket, I'm gonna throw something in that I can quickly grab out. Um, maybe some snacks um, if, I'm, if I'm doing a hike or even traveling, um, candy bar, um, energy bar, um, granola bar, something like that I think would be beneficial to stick in there. Um, also on the front of the bag here, there's gonna be a zippered pocket, which has some pretty good size to it. So just to stick my hand in here. Um, to me, this is a good pocket that, um, you know, kind of like a good map pocket. Easy to throw a map, a brochure, or something like that, especially if you're traveling with this or even hiking. Um, also, um, a good spot, I mean, I, I, to me, even to put a battery and a uh, cable in here to charge your phone or whatever electronic you, you do have. Um, so you'll see here, this does have a um, snap here to open this top flap. When you open the flap, there's also gonna be a way to um, cinch this closed so we'll just open this up just a look down in here uh, pretty good size opening here again might be hard to tell on the video um, some good good depth some good size here again 22 liter bag and there is a spot here for a water bladder again probably hard to tell on the video um, also on the front of the um, water bladder pocket there's a couple of really small pockets here that um, you know again just so throw something small in just to help a little bit with that organizational um, aspect of the bag. And then there is a place to um, throw your keys on here. Again, pretty basic bag. And to me, the most um, uh, really important part of this bag is just being able to stuff some things in here. Again, this is a, a day hike bag, uh, whether you are on the trail or whether you are in a city somewhere. So just a, a couple things about this bag that I wanted to show. Um, because I do think it's it's pretty versatile like a lot of bags can be uh, the first thing is if you do want to travel with this bag I do like the fact that this is a thin material So what that means you could do is easily pack this in a suitcase um, I think you could just flatten it out on top of your items or even on the bottom of the bag and just pack all the uh, Clothes and other items on top of this. Um, I think also You could get away with folding this if you wanted to kind of condense it down and again just stick it in your bag when you travel And another option for this bag is, you know, if you're taking a uh, very short trip, I think it would be easy to, to pack this. And I do have some items here that I wanted to show. Um, again, I have my Eagle Creek Packing Cube. This is their Clean Dirty, uh, medium sized. And what I do have in this bag, um, I did roll up two pair of hiking pants and I do have three t-shirts. And on this side, I do have some uh, socks and underwear. So to me, easy two days worth of uh, clothes here. So just to kind of stuff this down in the bag. And to kind of see what that looks like on the top still a little bit room of room on the top so what i'm going to do is this is just a small packing cube and, and again you can throw whatever you want to in this i do have some items in here um, i think it would easily lay on the top here and again a little bit more room in here what i'll do is um, toiletry bag again easily 
two days worth of uh, clothes in here. I'm going to cinch the top here and let's buckle the front. And again, you can even cinch that down a little bit more and just kind of see what that looks like. Again, easily hold that, that much um, stuff. So that's one option you have. So just to kind of take all this out. If you are more interested in maybe doing this as, as more of a traditional, hey, I'm gonna go do a quick hike or you know, I'm just spending the, spending the day out in the wilderness. Um, again, um, definitely think this bag will easily hold that. Um, so if you need a layer, um, this is kind of a puffy jacket. This is one from uh, Mountain Hardware. So I like the puffy jackets because you can just kind of roll these things up or uh, whatever you need to do and just throw it in the bag here. So also I have a rain jacket here. Again, whether you fold this or just kind of stuff it in the bag, very easy to do that. So let's just go ahead and stuff it in there. And also, um, just, you know, again, water is so important. So I do have an S um, beaner here if you want to just attach this on the bag. But just to look at these pockets, because these things are huge, the water bottle pockets on the side of the bag. Again, this is like a 16 liter Nalgene bottle. Um, 32, I think, should fit very, very well also. And also, we should have a bottle of water just again to show you how big these side pockets are so again just a couple of jackets in here easily to throw some snacks in here flashlight anything you might need battery for your phone some cords whatever Let's show you what that look like looks like and again you'll see how huge these pockets are on the side and whether I want to put the 16 ounce algae on the side or if I wanted to connect it somewhere um, I don't think that'd be an issue at all. Um, so I guess one thing I want to mention or a couple things I want to mention about this bag. Um, I do have a packable day pack that I've had for the last couple of years and um, have used that pretty extensively. So what kind of made me really want to, um, to venture outside of that is I have been, once it's gotten colder, have, have worn some kind of puffy jackets recently. Um, and those jackets tend to be a little bit more slick. Um, so what I like about this day, this day pack is the fact that it has these sternum strap, straps. The other um, day pack I have, which I love this because it's so versatile, uh, the new Outlander, is that it doesn't have the sternum straps. Um, so that's one downfall. So if I have a puffy jacket on, I connect this, it's going to stay in place. Um, because this one tends to kind of slide around um, sometimes. Um, the other thing about this was I do like the padding on this bag so far um, and again I'm hoping that it's going to offer a little bit of ventilation here opposed to this one whereas it's just a flat back. Um, again to me this one is, is very versatile as far as how small it gets. Um, opposed to this one like I said it can lay flat or even if you fold it up I think that it, it would fit in most bags as far as travel goes. Um, so just some options there. Again a lot of awesome bags out there as far as day packs go. Um, this one again is kind of middle of the road as far as price goes. Uh, I believe it retails for about $54 to $55. Um, again, um, they were doing 20% off for members this weekend. Um, so I think it was roughly around $46 to $48 when I purchased this. Um, that's including tax. Um, so again, I'm excited to, to really use this bag um, to travel with it and um, to see kind of how well it holds up. Again, REI has a, has a really good return policy and I think they have a very good warranty on their products. Um, so if there is any issues with this, hopefully they're going to back it, which I believe they will. Um, I think one other thing I did not mention on this bag, um, it does have an attachment here and here um, for trekking poles or like a walking stick, whatever you want to call it, um, to connect to this. So you have it, and when you need it, you can just throw, uh, pull those off and, and use those as needed. Um, and if I didn't mention, I think I did mention that the hip strap is removable, and also the sternum strap is removable, because um, I know some people... Um, are not big fans of these. And again, I, I definitely think that they're useful. Um, also, um, this does come, the sternum strap, one of the buckles here, does have a whistle. Um, safety. Um, so again, just a little, little added item here. Um, so again, this is the Gary I Flash 22. Um, just uh, again, uh, I think uh, from what I've seen and, and a lot of reviews I've read, um, gets really good reviews. So definitely was interested, and again, price point, middle of the road. Um, there are some cheaper, but there's some a lot more expensive out there also. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. 
um, have uh, have had a lot of really good questions and a lot of really good comments, positive comments on some of the other videos. So definitely check out my channel, um, and hopefully, hopefully one of these um, reviews can help you decide because again, there's so many awesome choices out there. Thanks so much.